hello, Charlie. What's new today? Oh, same old thing, I guess. Here's a paper if you want it, Dad. Good. I was wondering where that doggone kid was. Where's Mom, Jeannie? Starting supper. I'm going to help her as soon as I finish this algebra problem. Oh, Jenny, you know what it says here? They're going to take out all our phones and put in them kind with dials on them. Oh, Graham, that's yummy. Does it say how soon? A few weeks, I guess. That'd be just super. Oh, sure. What did you say, Graham? I said, oh, sure. As soon as a man gets used to one thing, by golly, somebody wants to take it away from him. Good, Graham. We've had that old phone since... Well, I bet since Daddy was a boy. We ought to be glad to have modern telephones. Oh, shucks. You young'uns are never satisfied these days. Uh, Folks are getting more worried about being modern than they are over the three square meals. I'm going to call up Ed Huckster there and find out what he thinks about all this business. Give me a three, four, four, J. Thank you kindly. Don't talk too long, Grand. Supper will be ready in a few minutes. Never missed a meal yet. Ain't gonna start now. All right. <laughs> Hello, Ed? I say, is this Ed Hochstetter talking? Huh? Well, get along close to your phone. Ain't gonna bite you, Ed. What say? Can't you hear me? I was talking about the uh, airplane skywriting. Doing all kinds of tricks? Right over town? Sure, I can see it from the front porch. <laughs> By Grammy, I knew that it'd make all them eavesdroppers hang up and run outside. <laughs> Ollie, you ain't changed a bit. <laughs> That's pretty slick of you getting them off the line so we can hear better. Dial telephone? Yes, I did hear something about it down at the grocery store this morning. Yeah, everybody thought it's a good idea. Who oh, did it? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, I ain't gonna get it in. No, I'm just wondering why they wanted to change something that still works all right. Oh, see here, I ain't no more old-fashioned than you are. Grandpa will get used to it, Jeannie. He said the same thing when I got my new washer, remember? <laughs> yes, and he wouldn't go near it for weeks. He even likes to work it now. Charlie, Jean says we're going to have dial phones put in. Grandpa read about it in the paper. Yes, I heard about it today. Ought to be a fine improvement for us here in town. You mean pretty fast, up-to-date service. You can pour the water, honey. Okay, Ma. <laughs> Graham got all worked up. He's trying to get hocked at him now. Yes, I heard him hollering out there in the hall. But he'll be all right when he hears there might be some new construction going on. He'll go down there every day if he can and tell him how to do it. <laughs> From what I hear, they're planning to hold some meetings around town later on. What kind of meetings, Charlie? Oh, to tell folks all about the new system, how it works and everything. John Cook will be the main speaker. John Cook? You know, he's the telephone manager. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. The first talk will be at the next parent-teacher's meeting. I guess we'll have to figure on going, then. Can I go too, Daddy? You won't have to, Jeannie. He's going to talk at a meeting in the school assembly for you kids. You'll hear about it then. Oh. Hey, hey what's going on here? <laughs> you can't even talk. Where's that supper I was going to be late for? Oh, you're just in time. We were talking about going to a meeting, Dad. The telephone company wants to tell us all about this new dial service. Meeting tonight? Can't go. I'm going to watch Ed Huckstetter paint his wife's pantry. Well, Dad, you'll be able to go to this meeting, all right. It won't be for some time yet.
friends. It won't be long now until your no dial telephones are ready to serve you. And I know you're as glad as I am that we're going to have an as up-to-date telephone system here as any in America. Now, most of you are acquainted with what a dial telephone looks like because nearly all of the installations have been made in your homes. But lots of other work has been going on around town too, as you've probably noticed. The wiring that runs to your homes has been checked. New pole lines have been put up. And new cable has been pulled into place. Things were happening behind the scenes too. In fact, the planning and the work on your new dial system has been underway for some time. A good many months ago, our engineers drew up the plans for the new equipment. It was built to these specifications in Western Electric's factories. Telephone equipment is pretty much standard throughout the whole Bell system. But each community has its own telephone needs. And our equipment must be built to fit those needs. Not only for today, but for years to come. Sometimes new buildings are required to hold the dial equipment. In these cases, we try to have them harmonize with the surroundings. It took a lot of time for our men to install equipment for dial service, and it took many days to put the new telephones in your homes. A little later on, I'm going to ask Miss White of our traffic department to demonstrate how to make a call with your dial telephone. But right now, I want you to listen to a man who has been working on the job of getting dial service ready for use. I'd like Mr. Johnson of our plant department to get up and tell you what happens during the actual cutover from the old system to the new one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, of course you know from what you've already heard that putting things in good shape for the new system has been quite a job. The main thing now is, we're heading toward the time when we make the actual change to the new service, what we call the cutover. So that there'll be no break in the community service, this must all be done in a few seconds. You can see these are mighty important seconds and mighty exciting seconds. When the signal is given, the little fuses are pulled out of the lines that were part of the switchboard service, and the old service dies. And at almost the same instant, a few seconds at most, we close the connections in the dial apparatus, and it is ready to handle your calls. From then on, you will have a dependable electrical operator at your service, ready at an instant's notice one that will be there 24 hours a day to handle your calls. Instead of hearing the familiar number, please, you will hear the dial tone, which says the same thing, electrically. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. And now, Miss White will give you some pointers on using your new dial telephone. Miss White. Uh, Mr. Johnson has just told you that your calls are handled in the dial system by an electrical operator. <laughs> of course, you've got to understand that the dial system doesn't do away with the need for human operators. Although more than half the telephones in America are dial, we have more operators than we ever had before. Better service means that people make more calls, and more calls mean more operators. Dial or no dial, you'll still be placing out-of-town calls. You'll still want us to find unlisted numbers for you. Or you may need help in an emergency. So don't worry, you'll find operators just as before when you need them. Now, I'm sure that most of you have used a dial telephone before, but perhaps you'd like to know why it works the way it does. We'll use this equipment over here to demonstrate. As you can see, this big dial looks like the one you have on your new telephone. But suppose you've got a number you want to call. What's the first thing you do? Take up your receiver and listen for the dial tone. Here's how it sounds. The dial 
tone is the equipment's way of telling you that it's ready to put through your call. As Mr. Johnson pointed out, it's the same as an operator saying, number please. If you don't hear the dial tone within a reasonable time, hang up, wait a few seconds, and then try again. As soon as you hear the dial tone, you're ready to dial the number you want. But before we do that, let's examine the dial itself for a moment. When you operate the dial, bringing it around to the finger stop, and then release it, an electrical code message is sent to the automatic equipment in the central office. You'll get some idea of what happens over at the central office if you'll think of these columns of lights as representing the central office dial equipment. For example, if the first number you dial is five, a five signal is received at the central office. Here, the signal appears in the first column of lights as five. Say the next number you dial is six. The signal appears in the next column of lights as six. Suppose we say the third number dialed is also a six. It will appear in the third column of lights, and so on. Of course, the dial equipment receiving these signals in the central office is quite different from anything we have here on the platform. But in any sequence of numbers, the number you dial will cause a particular signal to be sent to the dial equipment in the central office. Now, let's start at the very beginning and see what you do when you want to call someone. First, you get the number from your new directory. Let's say the number is four, five, six, seven. Then, pick up your telephone and listen for the dial tone. As soon as you hear the dial tone, you can start to dial the number. Here's the dial tone. Four. Notice the first column has received the signal four. And so on with five. Six. And seven. Always pull the dial all the way around to the finger stop and lift your finger after each number so that the dial swings back of its own accord. This is important because the electrical signals are sent to the dial equipment only as the dial swings back. Any interference with the return of the dial may result in you getting a wrong number. Soon after the last number is dialed, you will usually hear this tone. That's the ringing signal. It tells you that the telephone at the number you called is ringing. The party at this number will hear a clear, evenly spaced ring that sounds like this. The ring will continue until the telephone is answered, or if no one answers, until you hang up. When you've dialed a number and that line is busy, you'll hear a signal like this.
If you hear the busy signal, simply hang up and wait a few minutes for the people who are talking on the line to finish and try again. When you raise your telephone and listen for the dial tone, but discover someone else talking on the line, hang up and try again after you've waited a reasonable time. Also, if you lift your receiver and hear the clicks that indicate someone else on the line is dialing, hang up as carefully as possible. But no matter how often or when you call, always be sure to listen for the dial tone before you start to dial. For instance, if you should dial eight, before hearing the dial tone, the equipment may register only, well, some other number. Five. The reason is really very simple. You started to dial before the equipment was ready. And so it didn't receive all the electrical signals you tried to send it. The main things to remember are first, Look up the number in your new directory. Second, raise your telephone and listen for the dial tone. Third, dial each number carefully, making sure you bring the dial all the way around to the finger stop each time. Then let go. Don't try to hurry it back. I'm sure if you follow these simple rules, you'll find your new dial telephones easy to operate, convenient to use, and quick in service. Thank you. Right noise. Now let me see. Four, one, nine, two. Hello. This Ed Hochstetter? <laughs> My granny said this thing isn't hard to work. No, sir. Got the call through first time I tried. Real nice and clear, too, isn't it? God blame me if I don't think this darn thing is going to work out pretty good at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>